I just stumbled upon a video of mine on my computer that was deleted off my channel that reminded me how much I miss this game and how much I would love to see a sequel to this. The beautiful and realistic open world RPG game Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of the game I'm most hoping for a sequel. And it's good to know that they might actually be working on one, since the developers gave so many teas recently. Its world building, its characters and its combat, everything about it is unique and makes you appreciate the historical accuracy they created here. So, without further ado, let's get into this video, and I hope you'll feel the same way about this game. The service of God. Oh. Obedience. <coughs> and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day... shall become your own. Kingdom Come Deliverance, the realistic open world medieval game, is 100% the definition of a feel good game. Right from the beginning and the intro, you feel something you don't get as often in games anymore. It's hard to explain but you just feel at home. The music, the characters, village, graphics, the world itself is beautifully crafted. I've had similar thoughts in games like The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, The Outer Worlds and Mafia 2 for example. Just take some seconds to appreciate the world. I have a lot of respect for games like these because most of the games these days will throw you right into the action without time to really think about what's happening. But Kingdom Come really takes its time. There's no true action in the beginning, no massive wars or things like that, and it's exactly one of the things why this game is not for everyone. You start off as a random villager, you're a nobody, not good in combat, agility and certainly not a hero. The story starts off where your village gets attacked and many things happen, so you try and flee to the closest castle under command of a powerful ally. So that is where your revenge story starts. When I heard a realistic RPG medieval game called Kingdom Come was coming out, I was already excited. I imagined having to face actual real life problems, like sleeping, eating, bandaging wounds, brewing potions and hard combat, in which it delivered perfectly, but at a little bit of a cost. The game is so hard and goes too far sometimes in terms of realism, thus it lost many fans on release day. But when you see the creators really wanted to simulate real life with this project, you have to give them another chance. I did a revisit not long ago and I couldn't find myself doing nothing else in my free time. Henry, the main character, has to heat, sleep, have fun and train like a normal person of this life or else you will truly see the repercussions. Either he'll die, be less motivated or make the wrong decisions while talking to some people because he's so tired. You also have a huge reputation system in this game. Walk up to people in beautifully shined armor and jewelry, they will treat you like a noble. Talk up to you and be more willing to bend to your will. While if you look like a beggar, they will look at you with disgust and won't care at all. Every decision when talking have an impact too, whether on love life or friends. People also truly live their life and go on about their day. Every person is doing something, buying things, working, going to a bar and so on. You want to become a soldier, thus you begin as a guard duty officer and need to go up the ranks, which will take time. The more you progress and the more you get accustomed to the combat and the hundreds of hundreds of mechanics this game has in store waiting for you, the better you become. Just like in real life, and that's where the real genius of this game lies. 
let's say after about 7 hours of playing, I could finally beat this one bandit. Well, if there's a second one coming, I need a miracle or I'm totally done. Now, 20 hours later, you're killing enemies here and there like it's nothing, because you're now experienced. It is a true RPG survival, where you get better as you progress, because of real life and in-game experience. The RPG elements are fully fleshed out, experience points, item management, ability points, combos, stats and gear. Of course, the story and world itself is based on real life locations and stories, so everything you see is created from real life drawings, explanations and writings, and from history specialists, everything about it. The castles, villages, roads and forest. Please don't go into this game expecting a normal medieval game, a la Mountain Blade or Skyrim. This game is all about realism and immersion, I can't stress this enough. Many complaints by people are because their expectations of sword fightings, sound and atmosphere come from fantasy movies, books and games like Skyrim. Can you also imagine Kingdom Come was under huge controversy for having an all-white cast in the game? It's not that the time period and region in which the game takes place is set in Bohemia and has only white people there. No, it's not that, of course. That's not good enough for some people who care only that some imaginary diversity dream be filled. These critics want to see other races represented, even when their inclusion will 100% break immersion and amount to absolutely nothing in the end. Kingdom Come's developers could have taken creative liberties and included minorities, yes, of course, but they weren't trying to make a typical fantasy role-playing game. The goal was to create a historically accurate and realistic experience, and the region's race plays a big role in that objective. They didn't bend to those and the game lived to be realistic. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an amazing experience, and if you're into true realism, get it right now on PS4, Xbox One or PC. Man, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body.